We hear a lot about culture these days, everything from culture wars to cancel culture. But what exactly is culture? In the broadest sense, culture is simply the way we do things. Culture describes a group's values, customs, and behaviors, whether the group is a family, a business, an organization, a community, or an entire civilization. At the root of every culture is a deep system of belief or a form of worship. This isn't surprising. People are hardwired to worship. The object of our worship may be God, or it could be the self, or we might worship government, nature, or our ancestors. Another word for these deep belief systems is worldview, which is simply a way of seeing reality. A worldview is composed of often unconscious ideas or assumptions that provide answers to life's most important questions. The answer to these worldview questions provide order and meaning to our lives, whether they're true or not. But from where do our answers to these questions come from? Many of our beliefs are assumed, acquired in our earliest years. At a deeper level, our worldviews come from the ideas and philosophies of key historical figures. Their powerful philosophies are picked up by artists who convey them in songs, literature, paintings, poetry, and film. These, in turn, influence cultural gatekeepers in universities, public education, business, government, entertainment, and law. They institutionalize the worldview in curricula, policies, and laws, and we absorb it. Why does this all matter? Because worldview shapes everything we think and do, and what we do shapes the world around us. It turns out nothing is more practical and more central than worldview. We can think of our worldview like the roots of a tree, underground and hidden from sight. The trunk represents our values. The branches are behaviors and actions. Our behaviors and actions, in turn, shape our lives and the world around us. This is the fruit. Sadly, the world around us is filled with bitter fruit. This is unacceptable. As Christians, we are called to give ourselves to change the world for the better. But in order to change the fruit, we have to change the root. Genuine social transformation requires a change of culture, a change of worldview. And this change must start with us. The Bible speaks of this in many ways. We are admonished to think with the mind of Christ, to take captive every thought, to make it obedient to Christ, to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. In short, we are to think and act differently, not according to the beliefs, values, and norms of our surrounding culture, but according to reality as presented in God's word and the culture of God's kingdom. This worldview transformation doesn't happen automatically. It must be intentional, and it takes time, often years. This is because we are profoundly shaped by our surrounding culture, yet we are not imprisoned within it, nor are we defined by it. God has given us all we need to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. He has given us His Word, His Holy Spirit, and the Spirit of Truth who guides us into all truth, and brothers and sisters in Christ to walk and learn with us. But we must decide to take the first step. In order to transform the world, we have to be transformed ourselves. And this begins at the level of worldview.